Hey everyone, welcome back to Writer's ER, where we dive into all things related to dissertations and theses. Today, we're tackling a big problem, feeling swamped by all that data in your quantitative research. Ever felt like you're drowning in numbers? Well, you're not alone. We've got 12 super practical tips to help you get through this. So grab a notebook and let's get started. First up, imagine your data as a huge pile of books. Without a good system, finding what you need is going to be a nightmare. Our first tip is all about getting organized. Use tools like SPSS, Excel, or R to sort your data. Think of it as putting books on the right shelves so you can find them when you need them. Next, we've got tip number two, focus on what matters most. Look at your research questions and figure out which bits of data are super important. It's like picking out the books you need to read for a project and ignoring the rest for now. Tip three is about breaking things down. Don't try to do it all in one go. Today, maybe you just look at one part of your data. Tomorrow, tackle another bit. It's like eating a big pizza slice by slice. Moving on to cleaning up your data, which is tip four. This means checking for mistakes, getting rid of weird numbers, and making sure everything looks right. It's a bit boring, but super important. Think of it as cleaning up your room so you can find everything easily. Tip five is about making your life easier by automating stuff. If you're doing the same thing over and over, there's probably a tool or a software trick to help you out. It's like having a robot helper to do the boring tasks for you. By the way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Writer's ER for more handy guides and tips. Number six, talk about your data with friends, your supervisor, or anyone who gets it. Sometimes just explaining what you're working on can give you new ideas. It's like discussing a book with a friend and suddenly seeing it in a whole new way. Tip seven is a fun one. Use pictures and charts. Turning your data into visuals can make it way easier to understand what's going on. It's like turning a boring textbook into a cool comic book. Don't forget to take breaks, which is tip eight. Step away from your computer, stretch, go for a walk. It helps you come back with fresh eyes. Think of it as taking a breather between chapters of a book. Tip nine. Embrace technology. There are tons of tools out there to help you with your data. They can do the heavy lifting so you can focus on the cool part, figuring out what your data is telling you. Routine is your friend, and that's tip 10. Set aside regular times for working on your data. It's like setting a specific time for reading every day. Before you know it, you'll make a ton of progress. Number 11, keep learning. The world of data analysis is always changing. Check out new tools, take a class, keep adding to your skill set. It's like adding new books to your shelf. You never know what you'll discover. Lastly, celebrate the small wins. Got through a tough bit of analysis? Pat yourself on the back. It's important to recognize your progress. So which of these tips are you excited to try? Drop a comment below and let us know. Your tips and tricks might help someone else out too. And there you have it. 12 simple ways to tackle data overwhelm. Let's make this research journey a bit easier together. And remember, hit that like, share, and subscribe button for more awesome content. Catch you in the next video.